this video, I'm going to demonstrate a new way to authenticate the team services that's been integrated into the VS Code extension. This new experience is available as a version 1.121.0 .1 of the extension. So if you haven't used the extension before, you begin by opening a folder, um, either a local cloned Git repository or a local TFEC repository, assuming you've got the TFEC tools configured correctly already. So I'm going to go ahead and open the, my deep space repository here in my team services account. And when I do that, once the folder loads and the extension initializes, I get a message that says I need to log in because I'm not connected to Team Services yet. I can either select the Learn More button and go out to a web page to read more about um, how to get access, or I can click the Show Me button that will actually um, start this video here that's out on YouTube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close this and run the Sign In command team sign in command. You can either run it directly by typing it in there or you can click the status bar item down here at the bottom. Now when I do that, you're going to be given a choice to provide an access token manually, which is the current experience before this, this new, um, new authentication mechanism, or I can authenticate and get an access token automatically, which is the new experience. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of this and show you how to, how to get a personal access token manually. So in order to do that, I need to go out to my Team Services account and then click on my profile over here and click Security. So go over to Security and make sure Personal Access Tokens is selected. And I go ahead and click Add, give the access token a description, choose either 90, 180 days or a year. 90 days is fine. This particular account and then Authorized Scopes. For TFEC support, you need all scopes, and for the Git support, you either need you need um, read access for build, read access for code, and read access for uh, work items. I'm going to go ahead and do the all scopes permission set there. Go ahead and read the token. Once the tokens are created, go ahead and copy it come back to Visual Studio Code, rerun that command, and once I select I want to use the current experience, I can just go ahead and paste in the personal access token for that account, press enter, and you'll see that the extension is now initialized, and I see my team deep space team project showing up here. I've got two pull requests, I've got a successful build, and I have nine work items assigned to me. But I want to show the new experience. I'm going to go ahead and sign out. You can see the extension is no longer there in the status bar. And then I'm going to sign in again. This time I'm going to select uh, to authenticate and get an access token automatically, which is the new experience. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Now what we've done is um, we've gone out to um, our Microsoft security site and created a, what's called a device token that you go ahead and you copy this and its property is to copy this code and then press enter to start the authentication process which is going to take you to aka.ms um, device login. So you go ahead and copy that code then you press enter. And what will happen is your default web browser will show up and you'll have a page like this where you'll come and you'll you want to um, paste the code right in here or type the code right in here. Now if you've forgotten to copy the code or you thought you copied the code and you didn't. You see down here at the status bar, here's a copy of what that code is here. And you also get this method that says you're authenticating to team services. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that code in. And you'll see that that code is associated with Visual Studio Team Services. And you can go ahead and click continue to then authenticate against that account. So in Visual Studio Team Services, you can see I have to go ahead and authenticate with my account here. So I'll go ahead and do that. Go ahead and use that password. And now that I'm signed in here, you'll see down in the status bar that we check for a ver proper verification of the credentials. And then once we um, get that uh, verification, we go ahead and create a personal access token on your behalf in your account. Um, that personal access token is set up for all scopes and is good for one year. But you can go back to that uh, 
web page and manage your account so you can go oh, your personal access token so you can go ahead and change the the duration or the authorized scopes that you need but you can see that it's already been authenticated here's my team project again pull requests and the number of work items so we hope that this new experience makes it much easier to get started with the team services extension for VS Code.